My name is Justice Kumoka. I am your instructor. Today, I will be showing you how to connect a base plate using um, Prota Steel. So, as you can see here, this is Prota Steel 2022. And if you look at critically with the, to this project, you can see that we have already done this um, this steel warehouse modeling on our part one for this video using the uh, using the new portal version 2022. As you can see that there is um, that is there is a cladding load and also a sag load as you can see it here. So we did all this in our part one. So in the part, so on this part two now, I want to perform the steel connection. I, I already assume that you know how to perform um, a building design or for any steel design because I have done many, many videos on that. So with that, I have already done this building design as, as, as you can see here that all the members, let me just show. I have already done this ambient design as you can see that all the members have already passed as you can see that this is now the building or uh, this steel warehouse design status and as you can see everything is showing okay which i have already checked so i assume that by now you must have known how to um how to perform your building design or your steel design which i have done so far in my previous videos so but if you are new to this channel i would say that you should subscribe to my channel and then go and check all my videos which we did last day 2022 and then you will learn how to perform building model and also design but also just to help you guys i have also attached um this card file sorry i have, I have also attached the the link to the part one for this building or this steel warehouse model is that you so that if you are new to this project you can then watch um watch the watch the part one to know how to model this project okay so right now this warehouse currently um it has a steel stanchion and then has a concrete pedestal of 400 as you can see there 400 by 400 concrete pedestal as you can see that and this is a steel um steel stanchion which is steel column and then as you can see that so right now to so now export to Prota steel you just have to go to this place that says draw it and report now then click on this place that says Prota steel so once you click here as long as you have done your building design or your steel design this this model will now be transferred to steel um to to the Prota steel then for, for it to now begin your steel connections okay so which i have also opened just here as you can see i have also opened it here which is the steel as you can see the um this importer steel as you can see the um, model here so this is the warehouse model for that let me just bring this backward okay so this is now the warehouse model which i have exported as you can see it now so right now i want to show you um how to connect um or how to perform this steel connection Meanwhile, I am using Prota Steel 2022. So if maybe yours is not working or you don't have this version, I can give you um, a shared version of, of, of this, but you have to pay for it and it's not that expensive. But it, I, I tell you that um, it's, it's a nice one. Okay, so right now, you can see that I've already done the, the first base plate as you can see because since this is a concrete pedestal this one here and this is a steel stanchion so we have to use a base plate and also a and also a bolt and knot to now connect this this steel stanchion and this concrete pedestal together okay so right now i'll just do a new one here to show you how to um how to um create your base plate and also there are rules there are rules when you're um when you're creating your like your base plate because there are rules of edge distances from 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 the boat okay so right now once you open this um portal steel or once you or once you have launched this um portal steel here i mean one and let me just minimize this once you have launched this um portal steel 
here once you click on this place what now opens is this if you're using directly still um, portal c 2022 this now comes up like this so once this comes up you will see everything like this you might see your own this way okay yeah i think this is how it will appear everything here will just appear this way so now since i want to begin my base plate connection detail so i'll just go here right now on this place and then click on the arrow under the base plate here and then all the all the base plate connection will just come out now basically you can see that we have different types of base plates here basically this one is when you're using a hollow pipe or a circular pipe yeah circular hollow pipe and and if you can see what you have here this is not a circular pipe this is a steel stanchion which is hea uh, 200 yeah that's that's what we use here 200 so you can see that this is a h bin or, or let me just say an um a like a stanchion which is um a h bin okay so this is not a circular column so so with with that now this other this other base play section is not it um is not an option for this bit for this base plate connection now we are now left with one two and three this one now simply says simple base plate with in in bracket design and this one here is just saying base plate now this one is saying share key now if you look at all these ones you can see that all the base plates here also have share key so with that now this one is no longer um is no longer one of the options for this um basically connection so we are now left with these two right now so what is the difference between these two base plates you can see that one is saying simple base plate and one is saying base plate and also if you see again one has has a uh, one one has what they call what they call a stiffener plate as you can see there those pink things there are called stiffener plate on this one why this one doesn't have a stiffener plate it only has a base plate and also and then a shear key as you can see that okay so right now when do you tend to use any of that okay we use we use this base plate that has um this that this base plate that has all these stiffener um plates which is this pink ones when you are doing or when you are trying to connect what they call a moment connection so when you are performing what they call a moment connection you use this kind of base plate because that place has has a very high moment and then it it will need it will not only need just the base plate to carry that load it will also need a stiffener plate so when you are connecting what they call moment, what they call moment connection you, you use this one then if you're connecting just a simple connection you use this one which doesn't have a moment which is which is now to say a pin connection now if you check this right now the now your i know that what is currently coming to your mind now is when do i know when it's a pin connection and also when it's a moment connection okay now if you look at this just now you can see that this thing here has a circle icon here and then also has either a rectangle icon or a cube icon so once you have a circle icon and a cube icon automatically that is a moment connection you are your diameter used but if you only have a circular symbol and not this cube um this cube with it it simply says that you are to use a simple connection there which is that is a pin connection so and since it's a pin connection you are to use a simple base plate although based on experience based on experience even if this is this software is showing me as this is this is having what they call moment con connection based on these two icons now that is here i can still use a simple base plate to connect this my um this my column and this pedestal here because because what is showing me here as a, as a moment connection is, is, is at the base of this column and not at this top so i can use a simple base plate here which is a pin end connection which is a pin connection for this uh, for this steel uh, for this column stanchion and this pedestal 
Okay, so right now, since I've explained what this two means, I will now have to use a simple connection. Okay, so to use a simple connection now, which I have just done here, now let me now show you how to get this. Okay, so right now, I'll just go here first. Once I export this to this place, I will now come to this place. If I'm doing my base plate first, I will now come here and then click on this place here. Now, I can choose to click here first and then click on this place and then you can just see that directly or I'll just say undo but I'll say that before before you do that you have to set your base plate dimensions and for you to do that for you to be able to see that option you must have to hold down your shift key and then press this base plate icon here so when you have done that, wait for a while, it will show you a dialog box containing all the properties of that of this simple base plate. Now you can see it now. Now if you just go and click like this, you will not see it. But once you hold down your shift key button and then press this base plate, then wait for a while, the dialog box will appear for you to now make your own your, your own input. Now before, before at before at a default this thing was 370 and then 370 370 this was how it was before i i i i put the other base plates so you have to now set your own base plate dimension based on the size of your pedestal now if i go back to my um to my potas torture model here you can see that the size of my pedestal, which is carrying this um, this um, steel column stanchion, is if we check this out now, you can see that if I just hover my mouse button here, you can see this thing showing B1 400, B2 400, which simply says that the size of this concrete pedestal is 400 millimeter by 400 millimeter. So invariably, right now, my, my size of my base plate will either be 400 by 400 or I can choose to give a little allowance of 10 millimeter which will now make it to be 390 but I want to have it to be 400 so that it will flush with with the surface of of the of that concrete pedestal so I'll just put here right now 400 by 400 as my base plate length and width and then right now I want to come to this place now and then put my um base plate thickness here we we have um 10 we have base plate thickness of 10 12 16 and all that but i want to just leave it as 12 because this is just a simple uh this this is just a simple warehouse else i would have used 16 because 16 because 16 will be too much compared to what this um this this um this um, warehouse is 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 carrying. It's not carrying much load, so I will not use a bigger um, um size of base plates. So I'll just put twelve. Sorry, twelve. Okay, and then although if there is a failure, we will we will also see that this base plate of of a twelve of of a twelve thickness is not so sufficient. Then we can also come and then increase. Okay, so right now I will now come here again and type twelve here, and then here. I can choose to, to, to say maximum base plate. I can choose to use 20 if I want, 20. And then I can now come here right now and then choose my material. For steel, if you're using BS code of practice, I can see yeah, BS code of practice, we use our steel, our, 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 our steel material to be 275. So always choose 275, except you want to use a higher steel, steel grade or more material. Then I'll come here right now and just choose my concrete grade grade 20. And then I will now add this option to say add stiffener. I don't want stiffener because I just want a simple base plate. So I'll just remove that. And then I will now come here right now that says anchor bolt. As you can see there right now, I will choose my anchor bolt name. I want to use my anchor bolt to be um, M M60. And then I'll just I'll put this put this place here as two tolerance. If you don't see two there. And then I'll just say apply and then say um, since you have the same size of since we have the same size of uh, let me say pedestal so just say set as default so that you not have to do it again later so just say set as default and then apply and then say okay 
Now, if I say OK right now, if I click here right now and then click down to now insert your base plate, just click. Since since I've done all my changes which I want that will, that 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 will fit in based on this warehouse model. So I will now come here right now. Now insert your base plate. Click on the base plate icon, and then click on the column as you can see there, and then you will just see your base plate here automatically now. Now, so this is how, now if you check now, you can see that our base plate now is directly um, flushing with the concrete pedestal, as you can see there, as you can see that. So I can choose to change the color of my base plate from this green to, um, to this gray. I like to use gray actually. So I can go here right now, go here, double click on this base plate here, double click there, and then it will show you now the properties to change color. I can choose to change this color right now and then choose any color which I want. I can choose to use this one. If I, if I want to use it, I'll just say OK and then apply and then OK. And then OK it. You can see that. But I want to use gray. So I'll just go again to click here on, on that base plate and then change to gray here. OK, apply. Apply here and then say OK. OK, that's fine. Okay, now this is how you see without a boat. You will see your own base plate without a boat. Now, to be able to show the boat now, how do you show these boats? As 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 you can see, my own here is showing. And also position all your all your boats. As you can see that all my boats are being positioned. All these edge distance are being are being calculated using formula, which I will tell you. Okay, so right now I will now come here just now. And then I want to now begin to now be uh, sorry. Let me just go. I want to now begin to now um, show my boat. As you can see, that this basically doesn't have any boat. You just have only hole. So to now and it and, and it only have just two holes. As you can see there. Now I don't want to use two holes or or two boats alone. I want to use four boats, which would be at these edges at the distance of thirty or let me say thirty five from the edges of the base plates. So I want to have one boat here, one boat here, one boat here and then one boat here so how do i do that right now i'll do that right now by just come to this boat here double click on this circle here which is this boat which is this hole and then once i come here right now you, you can see that the option here was saying hole so i'll come here right now and then choose boats now once i choose boat right now i'll come here again right now and then check this place here and say thread a material i'll check that now i want my boat diameter to be 16 so i'll come here right now and type 16 diameter of boat now i will now come here right now and put in my boat assemble so just use this name which i'm giving you 8.8 .8 underscore um boat so use this for all your base plates that that you are doing so always use this boat assemble of 8.8 .8 underscore boats although we have other boat examples which there is which there is a manual which i wrote on this uh, about this t connection so if in case you want the manual all about t connections on this portal steel you can you can um, get it but but let me say it is not free and it's and it's very expensive because it comprises of everything about um steel connections using prota using prota steel okay so right now once you put this just now once you put that then go here right now and then check this place here that says first washer so once you check this right now and then i will now come here and then just rotate first and then come here right now and then say apply now once i apply right now you can now see that our boat now is not showing now if i click outside here just to click just click outside here you can see that our, our boat is showing green i don't want green because green simply means a workshop when you leave it as green what it means is that when they are going to fabricate this this steel plate they are going to um, bought it at the workshop before they come to come and install it as site, which is not very, very advisable. Because since this has a pedestal, what it means is that they have to lower down or cast this this um, bolt, these bolts into this um, into this into this um, concrete into this um, concrete um, into this um, concrete um, pedestal. Then they will now. Um, carry this steel and this base plate with with the hole then come and insert it then 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 then, then now bolt it so to now change that this is not a workshop steel and um, bolt 
but this will have to be installed at site you have to first of all click again on this board and then come here and assign this this um this this um both both lo location to be site now once you choose site and then apply the dark color will change to orange orange simply means that 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 this boat will be bolted at site and not at the workshop that means after they have finished casting this pedestal with the with the rod they will now lower this um stick stanchion and the base plate and then bolt it on on the site okay so i'll now click here and then click apply and then apply and if i click outside here right now you can see that it has changed to orange you can see that so green simply means workshop and then um this yellow or orange simply means um simply means um at at site this is very very important okay so right now you will you you will see all this in that manual okay so right now i have just done i have just changed um that option from hole to boots as you can see that right now so right now it is not time for us to now um change this boat location from two to four and then to create a new location this is where it the, 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 this is where that manual is very very important so right now i will not click again on this boat because if you don't click here okay let me just cancel here now to, to now um show my four boats here i'll just double click on this place again here double click here again right now and then shift this a bit and then come here that says positions and i'll click here just now at positions come back here again sorry and then this is not showing well i'm still seeing um seeing this which i don't want i don't i don't want to see this um, here so i'll click on this right now and then say apply okay yeah i want this like this okay so right now to, to now show this um four bolts here i'll come here right now and then click here now when i click here right now you can see that we have only two boat positions as you can see it here right now so from so from the manual now which which i'm which i which i am um, just um which i'm just um uh, looking at here on my phone i would first of all go now and then calculate what i want here knowing that my knowing that my pedestal is um what that, that knowing that knowing that, my, that, that this pedestal is 400 by 400 based on what we have here on our portal structure as you can see there this is 400 by 400 as you can see that b1 and b2 from by 400 so my this is my pedestal right now is 400 by 400 this one here this one here is 400 by 400 and therefore the and also this this um, base plate is also flushing with the with this pedestal which simply means this base plate also is also funded by 400 okay so right now let me just i don't I don't like why this is not coming down when i try to let me just um use a way to um take this let me let me minimize this okay that's fine and then let me just i want to, I want to get a way to um uh, that i'll not be showing something like this again for you guys to be seen let me just um do something let me see if i can see that okay that's fine i want to be seen like this so i'll just um make this this way okay that's fine and then that's okay and then let me see a bit lower it like this So right now to now begin to show this um both locations now based on what we have here on this this place now since this is 400 which i've, which I've already explained to you guys so i'll come here right now double click on this boat again when i let me let me okay double click on this boat again right now to show me this yellow box right now so come here position now since i've told you guys that this pedestal or this base plate is 400 by 400 let's now begin now to now calculate our our um that our boat distance or boat position yeah boat distance so come here right now there, there is a formula about edge of the base plate to the boat so that's that simply means edge edge distance or boat edge distance so i'll come here right now and say 1.225 which is the formula multiplied by by the by the by, by the diameter of this of this boat which is um 16 that that, that is what we use the 16 so um times 16 that gives me what 20 so the what it means now is that minimum edge distance 
from the base plate um, face here edge to the boat center of boat must not be lower than 20. so since i have gotten 20 just now as you can see it here right now i will now have to add if if now it will not be lower than 20 so i can choose to use 30 25 um 35 40 but not lower than 20. okay so since i have known that my edge distance based on the boat diameter is um 20 that is what they call minimum edge distance is 20. so i i can choose to use 30 or let me say 35. so if i choose to use 35 now which simply means that if i want to bring these boats into this place now knowing that this is my concrete pedestal now is um 400 by 400 or the base plate is 400 by 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 400 so i will now go here right now and then say um divide this base plate of 100 now by two which simply means this part will be 200 and here will be 200 so because you can see that this base plate now just divided by two here will be 200 and here will be 200 so that means that i now have my base plate to be 200 which is the half of it 200 so 200 now 200 minus um 30 which which no i i, I want to use 35 which I have chosen as my base plate um, edge distance of both and the and the base plate. Okay, so that gives me what now sixty five. So I will now come here right now, click on this, come here and then say one six five. And I'll come here right now and say update, and I'll come here right now and then say apply. You can see that it has not shifted from the point which we have it. As you can see, this one will. Is still here but but this one now have not shifted because this 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 um this this uh, value is for this boat alone and this value is for this boat here so i am first of all working on this right now so i have shifted this boat from this point to to to, to this point based on what i just showed you guys just now okay so right now again i want to now move the boat right now from this point now to, to this edge here we are, I'll have 35 here and also 35 here from the edge of the um, base plates. Okay. So right now, I will now also know, knowing that from here to here is 200 and from here to here is 200. So I will also come here again right now and do um, 200, which is from here to here minus 30. I'm sorry, my, minus um, 35, 35. That gives me 165. So I'll put here 165 and I'll say update and I'll say apply okay now you can see, now see how i have shifted this base this um boat now from this place here to this to this very place here okay so right now i want to now also um i can choose to go and take off this one I can choose to click on this one here and then just this one this one here and then delete it and then say updates and then apply okay so right now i now have only one um only one boat here right now so i will now begin to now um create all other boats for for these other edges here so i'll come here right now and then say add okay so on this add right now i'll come here i want this base plate this this boat now to be on this side here on this other side here or on this side here so i'll come here right now if i if i want it to be on this side on this side here i'll come here and add minus and i'll say update and i'll say apply you, you, so you can see that right now here so i have done this other one here i will now come here again right now and then say add and i'll come i want this boat now this this one here to be on this side here so i'll come here right now click on this here and i'll come here and then remove this minus sign here and then come here and put my minus sign here and i'll say what update and then i'll say apply okay and i'll now if and, and then to now create this other one here i can see that here is tnt i'll now come here right now and then come to this place now i'll come here again add come here click here and then say minus sign now put your eye here put your eye here you will see that a boat will just appear just now and i'll say update and i'll say apply and then you cannot see it here and i'll say um set default and i'll say okay so you cannot see how we have um created this um base plate as you can see it here this base plate bolted into this concrete pedestal as you can see it now just now
so with this idea right now i will now create for the rest base plate as you can see so i also have a base plate here i'm uh, sorry I, I, I will also have to create a base plate here on on this side as you can see there right now so to do that right now again i'll, 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 I'll be fast just now i'll now go here right now now if you're confused and you want to know purely steel detailing or potter's structure i will say that we have what they call ekidel mentorship training yeah we have to train you with a live trade with a live screen section it is a live screen session it, 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 it is not by you watching video it's a live stream session and we charge 300 dollars for four weeks to train you that and by the end of that four weeks you will learn almost everything about Prota structure but Prota steel is a different bargain altogether which is additional $300 because Prota steel takes time so you will choose either, either to learn concrete design and steel modeling separately that is for $300 or you ought, ought to learn Prota steel uh, to, like, to learn purely Prota steel that is a different other one of let me say again dollars again although before we are charging potter steel around 650 dollars but we are just given a discount so if you're interested for now that that that, that discount is still running out that you should um just um check the link down below and then enroll for our ekidel mentorship class okay so right now i will now come here right now to now create a new base plate here because okay so i'll come here right now to create a new base but before i create i'll see that if you have not subscribed to our channel ekidel and you are new to ekidel i will see that you should pause the video right now and then click on the subscribe button so that you don't miss all our updates because as you can see that we have many connections here to do which we will be doing uh, step by step okay so right now i will now come here and then click at this base plate here and then click here and then that's not shown because we have already set it at default and set the um the size of the bit at default so that, that's why you can see it here just now so i'll now come here right now double click on this place to change the color i'll set the color again now as default let me just do here yeah, come here okay it and then say default apply and okay okay default apply and then okay that's fine okay so to now create this one right now i'll be very fast on this base plate now so i'll just come, come, here, I'll come here right now and then sorry on this boat double click here right now and then since, since i've already shown you guys how to do the first one i'll be fast now i'll come here right now and say it, um i'll just say 16 here and then come here and then both come here and say um 8.8 .8 underscore both i'll just copy this now because i'm going to copy this right now copy this so i'll do it for the next one come here and choose this first washer here um come here again right now come here and they say m16 both okay come here tolerance two come here choose site and then come here again right now on this place come here change it here to 165 sorry 165 and then come here again 165 and then um update apply okay and then i'll come here back here to remove I want to remove this um, thread here. I don't want this thread here. This um, this needs washer. Apply that. I want to remove this boat string here. So I'll just apply here. Okay, that's fine. And then come back to this place now. Position here. Okay. And then I'll come here right now. Remove this just now. Delete this. Delete this here. Now this value was this value is this value here. One, this one six five is not a constant value. This value was calculated for which i said it is it is on my manual okay so i'll come here right now and then click on this just now um click on this here add and then come here come here right now put a uh, minus sign here and then update and then add again come here put minus sign here again and update add again come here right now um come here remove minus sign here okay update and then apply okay. so you, you, you cannot see all the boats now showing as you can see all the boat is showing here as you can see there right now okay i'll now say um okay it right now and come and click for this one again right now so i'll click for all the base plate click here and then click on the steel and then wait for it 
पिक तब क्लिक किए तब क्लिक किए चेंज द कलर ग्रे सो ये अप्लाई ये ग्रे ओके एंड देन डिफॉल्ट अप्लाई ओके ओके देन तब क्लिक ऑन दिस वाइट नाउ ऑन दैट कम हियर बोथ सिस्टीन एंड देन कम हियर and then type um um paste it i've already copied that paste it there and then come here put here workshop boots okay that's fine come here m16 um space boots okay and then come here tolerant to be two and then position delete this already delete this one here and then create all my boots all, all my boots um, points here location here one six one six then add update first then add come here put a minus sign here i want to put a minus sign to for the next location update add put a minus sign on this other one remove this one here and then update add and then come here right now and put minus sign here and then update and then apply okay that's fine okay so you can now see what i'm creating just now i have not done for this one also so you cannot see what i've done just now i have created for this and then also for this also which if you check this right now you can see what we have just done so far as you can see it here right now so this is how to create your base plate as you can see this one also this also to create this one here as you can see it just now so we to, let me just show you again to not create again let me just create again right now to create this again so create again right now i will not to now create for this other one here right now i will not click on this and then click on this place here and then um click outside double click here change the color to gray so gray okay apply okay come here okay that's fine and then okay it come here click on this place here right double click here right now and then come here type your plate um then both diameter both come here paste paste the name and then come here click here and then i will now come here right now um come here um come here check this first then come here um come this place position so I come here first, put in your name, M16, if you want to M16 boots. Sorry, okay, yeah, that's fine. Then come here, two tolerance, and then um, come here just now, and then site, and then come here, position, delete this, come here, put in the value, one six three. This, this is not a custom value, but this is just for this project update. Add, click on this, come here, minus just watch how all the boats will i show here and then add update first come here put here minus remove this here remove this here then update add come here put minus here update apply you can see both showing here right now okay and then come to this place now um press washer apply and then okay it's okay that's fine so you can now see again how this one is showing again so this is how to create all your boats that you want for every other one okay as you can see it just now okay that's fine so with this right now i have shown you how to um create your boat if you have any other sorry if you have any other question again as you can see that we have just done our boat now successfully as you can see our boat now showing successfully so i have shown you guys how to um create your boat connection as you can see it just now okay so if you um if you have not um still subscribed to our channel like there i'll say you should click on the subscribe button so you don't miss all our coming video yeah we have to be um connecting other um this um this um pole lines I will also show you how to connect these pole lines using this um pole lines connection as you can see it here i'll show you how to make this um pole lines connection here sorry 
to make this polar connection as, as you can see it just now so to now know that i was not sure that uh, i would say should um click on the subscribe button and then subscribe to our channel Ekidel. okay just to save the time for this video i don't want to show you know that one again so i'll just um skip up for that and then continue tomorrow okay yeah that's fine so see you then later bye